Howdy y'all, and welcome back to Thornton Farm on FS15. Almost at 17, but we're almost there. Don't worry about it. We're almost there, man. Look at this. I got the fent out, and on the back of the fent, I have a McHale bale shredder. Now, according, I've already tested it, and it will take square bales. It says it on the mod description, but I always like to test it anyway, just because you definitely don't want to get in-game and then buy it and then it doesn't take square bales so yeah we're just gonna run over here um, I got other plans for today not animal stuff but the cows do need straw to start producing manure so that we can actually get our greenhouses going otherwise right now the greenhouses are just kind of a waste they're not actually doing anything so if we give them straw today I'll probably give them like a couple of bales or whatever I don't know how much they'll take um, Let's see. I think it's X. Yep. There we go. And then we'll just jump in the JCB loader. Start it up. I don't think that mixer is too loud. I did bring the pickup back with the, the uh, wheel loader. Because I did finish selling almost all the silage. I think there's like 400 and something liters or something like that in there. And it's only basically, I left some in there just in case, like, we want to transport some from the farm down there. Like, we need some extra money in a couple of days. Why are you not poking the bale? Poke the bale. There you go. Good thing there's a little window up there where you can actually see it. This might be a little tough getting it in here. I had a little bit of a struggle with it the other day. Or I guess yesterday. Trying to get it in here. And the door, like, the door will close. But really, it's like, there's really no reason to close the door. On the back of this shredder. Because it registers that it's in there anyway. Alright, we need to turn. Sort of. Do it like that, and then maybe if we get behind it, and then kind of just kind of push it in there. You figure if they designed it to take square bills, they'd make it a little bit bigger or something, but they didn't. This is our options. If I can get the thing to get it. Um, let's see. I bet that would work, but I'm going to try to push it up in there a little bit more anyway. Not the shredder. I'm trying to press the shredder. There we go. That looks much better. Alright, let's throw one in there. Let's see. It should push it a little bit. And then, like, I I tried it. It'll it'll push, like, the door will close, but then the bale's, like, jumping all over the place. And I don't want it glitching out and flying way up in the air, but... This will work. See, it registers that there's 5,000 in there, which I don't know if that's standard or... Because the standard bill is like 4,000 liters. But this should have at least a good amount of straw. I don't know. It doesn't tell you, like, where they're at as far as percentage of how much they'll take. Um, they still need grass, but I don't have any... Like, I have a way to give them grass, but just... I'm not worried about it at the moment. I don't think this will take grass. Will it take grass? Let me see. Let's see, it's over here. Feeding technology. That's straw. Oh, it is grass, ain't it? Let's try it. That would be awesome if it would shred, shred grass as well and give them grass. Let's try it. Alright, so I got a bale in there. Got a grass or a hay bale in there. And it does register. Well, let's go see if it'll spit it out in there and give us actual credit. Like, give us credit for grass. That would be amazing. Will it shred it? Is it going to work? It looks different. Like, the texture is not necessarily right. But it says it's doing it. And it did it. There's 7,500 liters of grass in there. 
Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad somebody actually did that. Actually made it where you could shred like square bales for one. And then also shred grass bales. Because in like in real life, if you wanted to, you could shred whatever bale you want. You just throw it in there, it grinds it up, and then boom. I ought to sell that round baler, because I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I think I might do that. Just park this in here for now. Alright, I got the baler hooked to the pickup. And we'll just, we're just going to run the baler up to the store. Because I, I honestly don't think I'm ever going to use it. The square baler is so much easier. And we don't need to wrap any bales because we've already got silage fermenting. So there's really no reason to use the round baler. Plus the square bale is the ones that, like the square baler is the one we're getting so many like big bales off of. So there's really no reason to even use this thing. We'll just get rid of it. It'll add to our bank account. And then I think the rest of the... I think the plan for the rest of the episode, we're gonna like, uh, we're gonna go ahead and replant that field, uh, which shouldn't take very long because all I gotta do is just run a sprayer over it right quick, and then um, run that big planter over it, um, which I might just do really quick. I th I think I want to get that other field harvested, but I definitely want to get that planted before we go through the night because the night's gonna take up. Uh, it's going to make everything grow faster and you know all that works. So we'll get a little money for this and I will go and start prepping that field. Let's see what we get for it first though. Should be a good amount of money. I think these round balers are... Oops. I keep confusing my forward button with my uh, detach button. What do we get for it? Thirty-four thousand. That's not bad. I mean, it was free. Came with the came with the farm, pretty much. We owe the bank money. We got a fifty thousand dollar loan. I've forgotten all about that. We might need to borrow more later, whenever it comes to uh, doing certain machinery buying and stuff. Because I've still got the list. I'm still making the list of what we want to buy. And unfortunately, I asked last episode if anybody. Heading suggests what I should keep, what I shouldn't keep, but I get the feeling I'm probably I'm probably going to be past that point. Um, as far as like what equipment to get, because I'm going to be recording like three episodes today, I think. I think we should be able to just park the pickup right in here. And we'll grab the sprayer and head down there. I think the sprayer is almost empty anyway. Which is a good thing because it's rented. So it's going to have to go back. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to buy it though. Um, it's it's kind of hard to say. But it, <clears throat> it definitely comes in handy. Um, we might put a little bit in it. I don't know how much that field will take. We might put another like 10% in it, bring it up to about 40. That should be good enough, I think. Not real certain. Um. Well, let me let me put 50% in it. I know that'll get it, and if it, we can always go spray something else for, just to kind of get all this, get all the uh, fertilizer out of it. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. I, I don't think the field will take that much. Get this thing unfolded. And I think, like I was saying, what we should be able to do is just kind of follow the tram lines that are already here. Because Bill did hire a professional sprayer, I think. So, they probably know best. So, if we just drive and then just like spray exactly where the tram lines are and we should be good as far as I know anyway I don't, I don't think I don't think they would have messed it up we'll do it that way anyway it, it should work out I'll lower it down a little bit 
get her a little bit closer to the ground there. This thing does move awful slow though. I don't know what we're going to plant in here is the thing. I'm thinking probably... Hmm... I'll have to check and see what else we've planted. I know we've planted sunflowers. I think the other thing was maybe... Rye? Or was it oats? I think it was oats maybe. Oats was on 13. I'll have to do some checking. See if we can figure out what I planted on the other fields. Looks like we're going to finish out pretty good. I mean, we're not wasting hardly any. I mean, we're spraying the grass over a little bit, but I mean, it'll soak into the soil and kind of help the field anyway, I think. It's covering pretty well, though. I think this guy did a great job on his tram lines. And shut that off. Fold it up. And we'll head this thing back to the farm, I guess. And we'll grab the, uh, one of the big John Deere. So it took about 30% for this field. Um, I don't know what field. 23 will probably take more. But I don't think we're going to get to that till tomorrow. Um... So I'm not too worried about it. By then we'll have already probably sold this sprayer. Or at least returned this one. Or bought this one. Whatever we decide I guess. Got the big John Deere out with the big old seed drill on the back. We're going to head over the field and see if we can't drill some seed. I've been thinking, trying to figure out like what it is we want to put on there. And with this seed drill, this thing's amazing apparently. It can do any seed we want without even cultivating or anything. Which it does cultivate already. <sighs> we just we just put the different kinds of seeds in it. And then it just plants whatever we want. We already did sunflowers, we already did oats. I don't know if I want to do rye, but I think we've already discussed what we were gonna do with this field. When we bought it, I think we were saying we we're gonna put corn on it for chaff purposes. But I think that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in corn. 19 and 23 are supposed to be both corn. But I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're just gonna stick to the plan. Hopefully that's okay with everybody. Man, that is a big seed drill. I, I cannot believe how big that thing is. Go ahead and get it turned on. And get her running. Yeah. I don't really know that everybody probably likes this seed drill just because it, it does every seed. You know? But it does make everything... It does make it go a lot faster. And I don't, I don't know if you could... I don't think you can actually, like, plant corn with the same cedar as like uh, um, like most other crops but I don't know I mean as long as the seeds not too big right I mean this got a cultivator on it all you gotta do is fill the pot fill the bucket right or fill the uh, storage compartment or whatever so it might be realistic I don't really know I know it helps out on this on farm sim though it helps out a lot on farm sim the fact that it will do every crop And it makes it go so much faster. We can get so much more stuff done. Um, I'm still thinking about doing pigs and beef. Uh, I probably ought to buy those straight away, like right away. But like I've been talking about, I think my decision is is once all the rental equipment goes back, then we're gonna start like doing uh, instead of real time, we'll start doing five times speed. 
just so that we progress a little more as far as like the cows producing manure and the greenhouse is producing money and you know all that sort of stuff that way we got a little bit of stuff going there because on real time we don't really have the you know we don't have the time to get everything done because I don't progress time between episodes like I'm pretty sure that's what some people do but I don't I'm not doing that just because you can do that and it, will, it can cost you a lot of money just progress time when you're not doing anything if you're just sitting around or whatever I think that's about it for headlands. I think now we'll just start going up and down, up and down the field, getting her, getting her knocked out one row at a time. This field actually is, it, it's, it's small, but at the same time, it's, it's fairly good size. If you look at it, that's the thing. I think this will produce an awful lot of chaff, as when, like when the corn is grown. I've been kind of like, I've been wondering about FS-17, because like when we start out, I don't know how entertaining it's going to be, you know, obviously it's a new game, so people are going to be excited about it, but, I mean, every time we restart, every time we start a new farm sim, every time they come out with a new one, you know, we don't have mods, um, we don't have, you know, different maps, that sort of stuff, I wonder why the seed drill is missing some. It seems to be missing. We got a faulty, uh, a faulty whatever deck here. Faulty spout. Seems to be having issues. Just about done. Only like a couple more passes left. I think this one and then the next pass should be it. Maybe. No, it kind of looks like we got two passes left. And then I think what we should probably do just for the last part of the episode, um, last part of this day on the farm, is we're going to go ahead and buy some pigs and beef. Not a lot, like maybe 20 of each. Something like that. And, uh,. That way they can be producing manure for us as well. Just for the simple fact that we need a bunch of it. And I think what we could do is I could buy some. We can go ahead and go up there and spray some straw. And we can give them straw and mixed ration. And uh, that way we can kind of get them going on productivity a little bit. Turn that off. Fold it up. Uh, I'm going to head over here in this general direction. Because I'm pretty sure... I know, like, almost all the gates are open. There's a gate over there on that side of the field. But I didn't open it. It just kind of goes out to that little dirt road. But I'm going to pull up here. We're going to close this gate. And then I'll head back to the farm. Sure looks like our corn or our sunflowers are coming up. They're kind of coming up. They're coming up nicely. Must have been well fertilized. I think this cedar, though, I, th I think it needs a few adjustments. Oh, ridge marker. You need to be able to raise it. It's it's not raised at all. And I don't know if it's like the tractor or what it is, but um. Like, it's not set up high enough to where the wheels aren't... Ooh, there's a lag right there. I don't know what that's all about. I'm going to check my log. I bet I got a faulty... got a faulty script. Or a faulty mod or something. Ooh. I better save it before my game crashes. Because it might do that. Alright, got that. It might be... I hope it's not, but it might be that bale shredder. Because that is the new mod we just added. It might be, or it might just be the fact that I have so many mods sitting in here. I need to, in the morning it'll help, because we'll return some of them. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to try to work that out to where he'll give me, um, 
they'll give me some of my rental money back if I buy at least half the equipment but it's probably going to be with the agreement that the stuff I don't want or I probably what I'll probably do is um, all the equipment will go back it will all go back they will come and they will come and get all of it they'll come and transport all of it and then they're gonna repair the stuff they're gonna like fix up the stuff I want to buy since it is still fairly new and it's still under warranty and all that stuff so basically the way he'll will probably work it out is oh I'll get him to take all of it back he'll come and pick it all up from the farm and then we'll just go pick up what we want and then he can write us a check or uh, us buying the extra stuff if that makes any sense me and the guy have been talking it over and it's it's making sense to us it may not make sense to everybody else I guess but I'm gonna hook that up we'll bring it out here and then I will put a straw bale in it and hopefully be able to close the door and we'll head up and get some pigs and some beef actually there's straw up there isn't there yeah there is okay I forgot I took some up there. So we'll he I'll head up there and then I'll have to come back to the JCB because my follow me mod doesn't work right. So we'll do that and then I'll be back. We got the JCB coming up into the pigs and beef yard. And we'll go ahead and buy some of them. Let's see. Let's buy about 20, let's do 25, I think. If I can get 25. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. There we go. We get 25 pigs. I think that should be a good, I mean, they should start producing a good amount of manure. After that, there's 25 of each. All right, let's give them some straw. I don't know if any one of, either one of them will take a whole bale, but they might. We'll give them some straw, and then we will probably try to give them some mixed ration, just to kind of help them out, give them something to eat. I parked that in a terrible spot. I thought it was a good spot, but it's not. Let me back that up a little bit. There we go. This thing's still a bit tricky, but I'm I'm getting it figured out. I'm getting it figured out how to put a square bale in here. And there we go. Finally, holy cow. That took that took entirely too long. I put it in there and then it fell out, and then I put it in there and then it fell out, and just just bad business. I need to be able to put that, uh, oh, that back part up just like halfway or something. Or they should have made this longer. Break some straw. Hopefully they only take like half or not half. I mean, that's, yeah. Okay. Kind of looks like there's already manure in there. Surely not, though. I don't know. We'll check it here in a minute. Alright, so they didn't take that much. Um, what do we got? There is no manure. But they now have straw. And then, now we just need to get them something to eat. Let's put that back part up, see what happens. Yeah, see it like starts freaking out, because it's not long enough. That's okay. We'll just park this bale shredder over here in this trailer, or in this little barn. We'll just leave the fent on it. The fent can be our bale shredder tractor. And then we'll shut this off. And then we'll run back to the farm and grab some mixed ration. The sugar beets are looking right nice though. Look at them. 
just waving in the wind. It's it's nice. They're doing really well. All right, so I've just checked, and we have about ten thousand liters we can give them. Ten thousand liters of ration. We're gonna take the John Deere. I think it's forty. Is it forty-seven fifty-five? What are you? Yep, forty-seven fifty-five. I remember the number. That's crazy. I don't hardly ever remember these numbers. There's like so many different numbers that it's crazy. You know, I'm wishing I would have made this trailer green instead of red. But you know, it'll work. I don't think the pigs will even take all of this. Like the pigs and the beef. I don't think they'll take all this. We don't actually have enough of them for them to take a whole lot. There we go. Almost 10,000. It should at least give them a little bit of food. Um, I know we're... I think this is... Yeah. I know we've done episodes, like animals two days in a row, but I'm kind of like trying to... I try to manage it, but at the same time, it's stuff that needs to be done on the farm. I need to turn my headlights on. But you know when you turn the headlights on, it's time to go to bed. So we're going to make sure the pigs have food. They have... Whoops. Hit the rock wall there. We're going to make sure they have food. They have straw. Um, and then we're probably going to go to sleep for a bit. And then... Tomorrow is a new day. Go in here and dump them some, dump them some food. Absolutely nothing. They didn't. They didn't take hardly anything. Um, what did they take? Oh, uh, fifteen ninety eight. Oh, I just thought about it. They need water as well. We can't leave them for the whole night without water. That's crazy. I mean, they have, they'll have mixed ration to eat, but they need water. For sure. So I'll go get the water tanker thingy, and then we'll give them some water. Right, so we got the water tanker all filled up. Now we can head up there and give them water, so they don't have to spend the whole night without water. I'm pretty sure we might lose a few animals that way. Or all of them. Maybe they become cannibals. Or vampires. They start drinking each other's blood and all that good stuff. We don't want all that. That's bad. It's a big tanker though. Even the 4755 is having trouble with it. It's struggling under the weight. Let's go buddy boy. Let's go. Pull her up here. Can I do it from here? Yep. There it went. That was fast. That was really fast. I think the other one is all the way on the other... Yeah, because the sheds are put together. It'll be all the way over... Whoa... Gotta wreck my tractor. There it goes. All the way at the top. Alright. Well that's gonna be it for today, y'all. That's that's all the work we're gonna be doing right now on the farm. I would say after this episode we're taking a nap. We're gonna take a nap, we'll wake up in the morning and see how things are going, see how the crops are progressing. And uh we'll just kinda go from there. We got the animals at least fairly taken care of. I mean, they won't die. The pigs and beef still need a lot of different stuff. Um, silage, grass, earth fruits, some other things, I think. What is it? They need grain, earth fruits, silage. Well, that's it. Well, that's not bad. We could probably do that tomorrow. But, yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you come back and see me. And as I always say it, y'all come back now, you hear.